If you want to eat the freshest and most delicious seafood in Cambodia, you need to visit the Gai Crab Market. Not only will you find fresh crab and array of other seafood options, but you can get it cooked on the spot and enjoy it with their in-house sauce. So in this video, I'll give you my top tips when visiting the Gai Crab Market and I'll show you some of the most delicious seafood I've had in Cambodia. So let's get cracking. The Gaib Crab Market is located in the Gaib province at 157 kilometers away from the capital city. Now, if you're visiting the market for the first time, it can be a little intimidating and pretty hectic if you're not sure what to expect. As soon as we got out of our car, we had people selling to us before we even saw the food. So that brings me to tip number one, have a plan. Being mentally prepared and going in with a plan can really help lessen the culture shock of your experience at the Gaib Crab Market. Instead of rushing in to buy the first thing you see, I suggest you start by strolling the market to get the lay of the land. Take your time exploring the stalls. See the different seafood available for sale. You'll not only have a better idea of what you might want to buy, but you'll also get a better feel for how the market works. There are multiple stalls offering a variety of seafood options, from shrimp to squid and of course crab. As you pass by each stall, there will be sellers asking if you want to buy from them. Politely decline and keep walking because your mission right now is to observe, which is what you should do when you see locals ordering their seafood. Take note of how engaged they are in the process of picking their seafood and even how to get it cooked, but more on this later. After you've gathered enough information, make a mental note or a physical list of some of the things you want to buy. Jot down how many kilograms you want because that's how the seafood is sold here. You can even use this as leverage when negotiating. Which brings me to tip number two. Always barter for a better deal. Negotiation is often expected and a normal part of buying in Khmer markets, which is why the first price mentioned by the vendor is not always the best price you can get. So if you want to try your hand at bargaining, here are some tips to keep in mind. If you bargain in Khmer, chances are you'll get a better price. So make an attempt to learn and use some basic Khmer numbers. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see a video on this. Second, prices will vary depending on demand and availability. So if you're visiting during a local holiday, you can always expect to pay more. Next, if you know you want crab from one seller and squid from another, you can work with one of the seller to package your deal. The vendors all know each other and oftentimes they're willing to work together to get you to buy from them. And lastly, keep it good natured. The more friendly you are, the less likely you are to get ripped off. So here's a general breakdown of how bargaining works. The vendor will state a price, then you say a price. They lower their price slightly and you say the same price. They lower their price again and you increase yours slightly. Do this a couple of times until you reach a number you're both happy with. And voila, you've just negotiated your way to a better deal. Now, if you're still a little uncomfortable negotiating and you don't want to deal with the bargaining yourself, you can do one of two things. First, you can get someone to bargain for you. It was not surprising at all for me to see a foreigner walking around with a local who acted as both a translator and a negotiator. You can even try asking one of the drink vendors to do this for you. And the second option is to pay the asking price. Now, I don't recommend this because you're hiking the price up for the rest of us. So instead, try one of the other options. Now, once you've locked in your price, it's time to roll up your sleeves for tip number three. You'll want to inspect everything you're buying. So be prepared to get into your squatting position and handpick what you want. Sort through the crabs that you want and don't be afraid to remove any of the ones you don't want, like the small ones. Even if you're buying a lot, it's really worth it to take the time to pick and choose. Some people like the female crabs for the eggs, 
Others are perfectly fine with the smaller male crabs. It's all a matter of preference. Again, if you're unsure how to inspect for what you want, I recommend going back to tip number one by planning ahead. You can quickly Google search how to pick your seafood. Now don't get lazy here or the vendor will pick for you cause there's no guarantee that they'll give you the one you want or even the best ones. Once you're done choosing your seafood, I also recommend that you keep an eye on what they are weighing. Sometimes their hand scale hasn't been calibrated to zero or the vendor has also put in more than you bargained for. Remember, it's not too late for you to remove whatever you don't want. So again, don't be afraid to take things out or add more. Now onto tip number four, getting your food cooked. You can often work with the same seller to have your seafood cooked for you. They'll work with other vendors to have it either stir fried, grilled, boiled or steamed and they'll even prepare all of the ingredients for you. Feel free to use your newly learned negotiating skills for this part as well. The asking price starts at 10,000 real or $2.50 USD per dish but I've heard others paying half that amount so you can definitely negotiate down especially if you got a large order like ours. We got our squid barbecued on this open fire charcoal grill. We also got our crab and our mussels stir fried with some gampot pepper, garlic and scallions with their sweet and sour sauce. And then we also bought rice and the in-house chili sauce to eat with our boiled shrimp and crab. Now once you've got your food, you can choose to eat at one of the tables in the market as long as you buy one of their drinks or even enjoy it at the Kite Beach, which is just one and a half kilometers away. We chose to take our food back to our accommodation. Now, make sure to ask first because it might not be allowed. Fortunately for us, it was okay as long as we ordered other dishes from them. So, here's a look at all the food we ordered. There you have it, my top four tips when visiting the Gaib Crab Market. Although it was a little hectic in the beginning, it was well worth the visit. The seafood was so delicious. Plus, interacting with the locals and the process of buying the seafood was a whole experience in itself. One that I highly recommend you try when visiting Cambodia. I really hope these tips help you in your visit. And if you like this video, you'll enjoy this one of my top three attractions in Kabot including a free tour of a pepper farm. Thanks so much for joining me in Gaib. Aukun and Jimdiap Lee.